Tonight at 11, a ribbon cutting ceremony opens the doors to the renovated entrance to Hitchcock Woods, a forest nearly 8,000 acres big within Aiken County. For six years, a metal gate blocked this off to make room for a new project. That plan involved the mayor commissioning a stormwater management team to find a solution to the entrance between Lawrence Street and South Boundary. Our Sydney Hood is live in the studio tonight after stopping by the ceremony today. Sydney, what was the energy like from people that were there? It was a pretty high energy environment. This project is six years in the making and is the first of its kind in South Carolina. Today, the red bow tied to the Black Iron Gateway signaled a change to the Hitchcock Woods, giving a new entryway and open space for all. Driving past the corner of Lawrence and South Boundary, you may notice some changes. This was a solution to a, a long-term problem that uh, actually went into the woods and created a lot of uh, a, a lot of problems for the woods. The problem here, it all has to do with too much water flowing into the Hitchcock Woods. Every extra gallon of storm water that comes down takes away a little bit of dirt and that dirt ends up somewhere and it's going to end up in your mill pond. It's going to end up in your drinking water. It's just kind of nasty and it's nice to be able to, to fix that. A long time in the making. For a new gateway in Aiken. We would hear every day, of course, the trucks and the pounding, and but we knew progress was being made, and we would see the um, the depth of the uh, the digging that had to take place to insert those tanks. Tanks are what lie underneath this green space, all to help control storm water and reduce erosion. A large percentage of the Aiken water runs under our property today that now it's going to be diverted to uh, into these stormwater systems. This all happened in Rolf Turnquist's front yard. He's watched this project from start to finish, and so has Cynthia South. This entrance really does justice to the huge asset that we have in Hitchcock Woods. It is a beautiful entryway, and so this was a, a wonderful uh, opportunity to create this as part of the solution for the erosion problem. A double whammy solving a problem while protecting an asset to the city. It's good to see our city actually taking care of taking care of the environment and you know making sure to fix the problems that we've caused by us being here. The price tag on all of this came out to be over 15 million, but the price to pay is nothing compared to the fund to come for the residents and visitors of Aiken. I just can't believe there's tanks underneath there. Great story, Sydney Hood. Well, now we're going to toss things over. First alert, meteorologist Mikkel Hannah Harding with our outlook for this week. How's it looking, Mikkel?